In just 12 days, 160 million working Americans could see a tax increase in their paychecks. And nearly 2 million others who are struggling to get by without a paycheck could lose their unemployment benefits. The House today set the clock ticking toward that New Year's Day punch in the pocketbook when it turned a bill that had been passed by the Senate. That bill would have extended the 2% cut in the Social Security payroll tax and kept job benefits flowing. What happens now? Congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy? Scott, we are now officially in a total stalemate, and tonight most lawmakers are heading home for the holidays. The motion is adopted. House Republicans doubled down on their risky strategy today, voting to reject a two month tax cut and to establish negotiations with a resistant Senate. Come back to Washington. Do your work. Give the American people a year, not two months. Democrats said House Republicans were ensuring that the payroll tax cut would expire altogether in 12 days, causing the rate to return to 6.2% from 4.2%. What is happening here today is shameful. It is a disgrace. It is unreal. It is unbelievable. The Senate passed the two month tax cut overwhelmingly over the weekend after failing to reach agreement on how to pay for a one year plan. Then they left town, giving House Speaker John Boehner one option take it or leave it. Senate Democrats say they're not coming back. So, does this mean the tax cuts are going to lapse? Uh, we have done our job. Uh, all we need now is to resolve our differences. A two month extension is nothing more than kicking the can down the road. The payroll tax cut is not the only measure caught up in this fight. If Congress doesn't act, unemployment benefits for newly jobless Americans will revert from 99 weeks to 26 weeks. And doctors who care for Medicare patients will see their reimbursements slashed. Republican Charles Bustani is a doctor himself. To put physicians in a position of seeing a 27, 28 percent cut in enrichment. It's just untenable. And it's not as if any of these deadlines snuck up on Congress, but they put off negotiating until the last minute, Scott, which is why they find themselves in this embarrassing standoff. Well, Nancy, you've been talking to members all day. What's one potential way out of this impasse? Well, there really are two, Scott. The first would be that Republicans back down and pass this two month deal. Uh, the other would be that Senate Democrats back down and come back to negotiate. But I'll tell you, at this point, we aren't getting any inclination that either of those is going to happen. Nancy, thank you very much. It